Guys, there's something you should know about the Neuralink. It's Tech billionaire Elon Musk is saying his Neuralink company has successfully implanted one of its wireless brain chips in a human for the first time. The Neuralink has implanted a brain chip in a human. Musk saying the person is recovering well. Initial results show promising neuron spike detection. Three days ago, the world as we know it changed forever. A new species was created. A species like none before. A species with a combination of the human mind and artificial intelligence. And we'll get to that. But first, the monkey. This is Pager. He's a nine-year-old macaque who had a Neuralink placed in each side of his brain about six weeks ago. If you look carefully, you can see that the fur on his head hasn't quite fully grown back yet. He's learned to interact with a computer for a tasty banana smoothie delivered through a straw. We can interact with the Neuralinks simply by pairing them to an iPhone just as you might pair your phone to a Bluetooth speaker. By recording from many neurons and feeding their activity into a decoder algorithm, we are able to predict Pager's intended hand movements in real time. As he's playing this game, we are wirelessly streaming in real time the firing rates from thousands of neurons to a computer. Using these data, we calibrate the decoder by mathematically modeling the relationship between patterns of neural activity and the different joystick movements they produce. After only a few minutes of calibration, we can use the output from the decoder to move the cursor instead of the joystick. Pages still moves the joystick out of habit, but as you can see, it's unplugged. He's controlling the cursor entirely with decoded neural activity. It doesn't take a neuroscientist to work out that the possibilities of this technology are as incredible as they are terrifying. Not to mention the ethical complications of being able to read someone's thoughts and predict their actions before the actions are committed. You thought Minority Report was just a movie, but in reality, it was a foreshadowing. But I'm skipping ahead. This is the story that you weren't supposed to know. This is me, six months ago. Just a regular guy with a regular job and a regular life on a regular Thursday. I had the day off work, so I decided to relax indoors and watch a movie. I was flicking through Netflix when I decided to watch a film called Limitless. I'd always heard it was good, but this was the first time I watched it. I loved it, and after I watched it, I couldn't help wondering what it would be like. You know, having a mind with limitless capabilities. Anyway, that same evening, as if by coincidence, I received an email. You have been selected for the first human Neuralink trial. If you're interested, please sign this NDA. I thought, what's the worst that can happen? So I applied. A few weeks later, I became the first human to have a Neuralink implanted into my brain. It's funny, because they'll always tell us about the pros, but it's always what they don't tell us that we should worry about. In the first few hours after the procedure, I felt okay, a little hazy, but mostly excited. But about 12 hours in, that was when the headaches started. They were unbearable, excruciating, like nothing I've ever felt before. Then came the visions. They felt like hallucinations. Random things from the internet would just flash into my head and I couldn't stop them. It was like having internet ads randomly pop up in your head and you could see them as vividly as if they were right in front of you. But you couldn't skip ad. I couldn't sleep. The constant visions kept me up at night. I started to feel like I'd made a big mistake. This went on for weeks. They said it's just teething issues and that my mind was just adjusting to the Neuralink. But that was the problem. I didn't feel like it was my mind anymore. I felt like I'd literally lost my mind. Eventually, I'd had enough. I just wanted to feel fully in control of my own mind again, to have complete autonomy over my own thoughts. So I just wanted to break a rule, any rule, just to prove to myself that I still had control of my own thoughts and actions. 